space travelers could soon be able to venture further than ever before thanks to the development of a miniature force field to protect them from deadly solar storms. Until now, the stuff of science fiction, British scientists think they found a way to create a magnetic shield for spaceships. So could this mean a manned mission to Mars? Our science correspondent Tom Clark reports. They must have some kind of protective shield over there. No, you can't kill them. They've got a force field. They put out some sort of electromagnetic covering. In popular science fiction, no one ever gets far without some sort of deflector shield. But in the real world of space exploration, there's very much a place for force fields. It's just that no one has ever been able to make one. Until now. Working with some less than space age equipment, plasma physicist Ruth Bamford has created a miniature force field for the first time. We've actually uh, done an experiment in the laboratory in miniature where we've simulated uh, a stream of the solar wind interacting with a magnetic field uh, as if it was around a spacecraft and it confirmed uh, our theoretical results uh, wonderfully and uh, has given us great hope that, that we can actually develop this technology to protect astronauts in the future. The problem for astronauts is the sun. It throws out a stream of particles seen in these satellite images called the solar wind. And during a solar storm, it can become a radioactive gale, a billion tons of material traveling at one million miles an hour. This stream of intense radiation is constantly hitting our planet. It doesn't affect us because the Earth's magnetic field forms an invisible protective bubble all around us called the magnetosphere. But if a manned spacecraft left the protection of this bubble, its crew would receive potentially lethal blasts of radiation. By projecting a magnetic force field around a spaceship, astronauts would remain safe and for the first time could visit planets like Mars. Dr Bamford's team used this vacuum chamber to simulate the solar wind on Earth. They then proved you could make a shield against that solar wind. A magnetic force field in the centre of the chamber can be seen deflecting the radiation of the solar wind, rushing past and around it from the right-hand side. By understanding how the particles work on, on the microscopic scale, I mean, it's just not microscopic and human scale, but it is in terms of the particles in the solar wind. We are very small, and we found that we can actually produce this tiny, uh, a, a tiny hole in the solar wind that... Uh, that's just enough for human beings to be protected. Captain, shields just snapped off. So will real life space commanders now be ordering shields up? We'll borrow the shields, Mr. Scott. Probably not. Manned missions to Mars are decades away right now. But it's comforting to know that those who in future boldly go may now at least stand a chance of boldly returning. <laughs>